check these out. Got some, uh, I got some film back. How's it going today? My name is Sam McGee. I am a cinematographer by trade and a photographer because I love it. I'm going to talk about these bad Jacksons today. I love big digital sensors. That's why we shoot video with the airy large format sensors. And then I shoot portraits, digital portraits on Hasselblad medium format sensors. And my interest in large sensors and what that does to a picture stems from my affinity for large negatives. Today, we're gonna shoot some medium format portraits, digital and film. We're going to use the Hasselblad 907X with a 65 millimeter lens. Then we'll also be using my wife's late grandfather's Rollacord twin lens medium format. We're gonna do Kodak Portra 160. I don't have any more lying around here. I used it all. I've got some 35 Portra 400. I know this is medium format and you want everything tack sharp. I don't. I like big sensors because I like blurry things. I like it to feel organic. Uh, and that's why I'm drawn to film. Do you think I should answer a call from spam risk? No. These are my cousin Sophia's senior portraits. We are in the Garland district of Spokane, Washington, which is kind of an eclectic street. We are using a diffuser for a lot of this first stuff. One of the things that I've always found fascinating about Portra and the reason why I use Portra emulators with my digital photographs is the way that it renders colors. I know that it's not gonna do it justice necessarily to do it in the end, but it gives me a similar feeling. We found these cool kind of rusted, uh, disheveled metal chairs backlit with the sun coming in and we use a gold reflector on her face to make it all feel warm. You know, we had some Stevie Nicks playing this whole time. That was the vibe that we were getting. I am shooting digital at ISO 100 with the aperture all the way open at f2.8. We're shooting the film. ISO 160, obviously. And the widest aperture on this lens is 3.5. We're gonna have a very similar look in terms of depth of field, shallow, organic. We plan this whole shoot at golden hour. Oof, I love harsh backlight. It is a problem that I have that I tend to only think about light in that direction. And so my challenge to myself in this scenario was to use light on her face directly. One of the things that I did to prepare for this shoot is try to teach myself how to direct people. For the last few years, I've been primarily a cinematographer for documentaries. I think I rely heavily on the director to do all of the directing. And so I had to remind myself how to direct people watching some mango street on youtube trying to brush up my brain you know give them an action give them a feeling give the person something that encourages them to think a certain way to do a certain thing it's it's not about posing it's about directing One thing I'll stop on, these are scans from the lab. I've been learning a lot about scanning your own negatives and that's why I'm holding on to these. But one of my favorite things about shooting film is that I continue to make the mistake. I always have one extra exposure at the bottom and I always forget about it. And there's always the last frame. And I've kind of left it this way. I love messed up stuff. I love messed up film. I love old expired film. I love the feeling that I get when I look at an image that is just, I, I had no controller. There's something about this that speaks to me and there is light leak on all of these because I did not, I didn't tape this shut tight enough. I didn't roll it tight enough and tape it. My business partner, Mitch, here's a portrait of Mitch. End of the roll, he loves being the end of the roll. 
All right, so it's 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 the end of golden hour. We're now in the blue hour, and it is dark. So this film at ISO 160, I mean, we are exposing at a really slow shutter speed. This was sitting on a Pelican case at a 15th of a second. It's dark, but it's really rad. There's a lot of blues and a lot of orange. If you look at the digital photos from this moment, we're at ISO 1600 at a 60th of a second. That's a little more manageable. I mean, it is now the end of blue hour. We had um, her couple of family members we had with her got all their cell phones out and I had them point the flashlights through the diffuser. This frame where you see her sitting on my Pelican case with the diffuser in frame, I, I felt like that added the character to the image. That's a portrait session with side-by-side -side Portra 120 film and medium format digital sensor. Tell me in the comments how you felt about the digital images versus the film images. I get to the end of these videos and I just have no clue what to do or say. It's just done. It's over. I feel like I should say something concise. Like my conclusion is, I think that today there's just too much emphasis on, on the tech and not enough emphasis on the art everything is new all the time and we're constantly battling with well, do we trade out this for the new camera i mean, add the autofocus and the whatever and i have found the community of film photographers on youtube to be fascinating and enjoyable because there's nothing new and it's actually more fun when you find older things to try out and get to try out please Forget about the technical aspects of everything and just make some art. Oh my gosh, I'm getting philosophical. Stop it. I literally have to get back to work.